Hello YouTube, this is Davis with Diffusion Squadron, here with Ghost Robo 325. Today we'll be talking about how we started the channel, like where it came from. We'll also be talking about just some of the different parts on the forums that we've been looking at recently. And we may end up covering a few things at random in the end. Uh, right now, Max is looking at live as well, so if you say hi Max. So, live right now is pretty much dead. There's nothing going on. It's only the forums that are blowing about the Fusion Vault right yeah, now. Yeah, no, uh, live is normally quite dead, to be honest. But uh, at times, you have people talking about quite interesting stuff. Like, I used to go on there quite often in the summer, and there was a lot of theories and stuff. And uh, there's also, if a dev joins, expect leaks every time. Oh, yeah, obviously. I not mean... quite. There's not always leaks, but if anything, ask them questions, because that is your only good chance. Ask them questions when they're tired, and they'll give you a right answer. But, so, I think we'll go over how the channel started. You'll find a locked thread as well, if you go through general discussion. And I think it was moved off-topic, but um, Omni wanted to, just like asking for people to make a channel with him, to be honest, all of us uh, replied to the thread. From there, we made a few oh, PMs. Oh, it was actually moved to fanworks, not off topic. Oh, <laughs> fanworks! Ah, oh. I, I, I would imagine that being off topic. To be fair, but um, yeah, we all responded, and then a while later, we got each other's Skype, and this happened. It's like the birth of a child. Give it a few seconds, and then it happens. So a lot of people were upset about Fusion Fall, the original Fusion Fall, being shut down on August twenty nine, twenty thirteen. Well, it was obviously, really, yeah. really a heartbreaking day for them. You know, there's been a couple of threads about people saying that there were a lot of videos like a week or two weeks before the game shut down, and they were um, like, "Wait, something? Yeah, 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 I know. Uh, sorry, something interesting. I missed the ending of Fusion Fall. Oh I yeah. I stopped playing. <laughs> stopped playing in 2012ish. Two, three years. I was like, oh, I remember that that MMO Cartoon Network game. What was it called again? Took me about three hours to figure it out. Searched it and then cried when I found out it shut down. And then I uh, found out about Fusion Fall Legacy in the same day and I got really happy. It's funny for me because I used to play like before the uh, the re release Fusion Fall, if you can call it that, where they had training. Yeah, yeah. I used it to play basically... before that. Yeah. And then I came back and I was like, I want to access my account. And I've said this in a previous video and I couldn't. So I made a new account and then, like, either the game lost interest for me or it was the fact that I had to pay for a membership to access the yeah. past, I believe. But I never really got on the day where it was, like, your level, maximum level, maximum money. You know, I kind of missed out on that moment. Yeah, that was an entire week. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so there were a lot of other threads considering retro and um, it's going to be on retro. <coughs> Yeah, which is kind of annoying, because that's a mega thread with, like, 68 pages. Yeah, and Two other people are making their own threads. Yeah, it's really annoying, like, um, a lot of new, like, comers to the forums aren't reading the rules, really. Yeah, and they're just uh, like, I, yeah. I made a thread about it, another guy made a thread about it, a bunch of threads about it have been bumped, it's, it's getting a bit stupid. Well, there's a little update for you. <laughs> One of the community team members made a... A screenshot of them in game saying ho all and their name was object hashtag two eight three zero. That was a C that was an ASCT, that was one of the new devs, he leaked that. Uh. Uh, yeah, he leaked that on live a while back, because I remember Ryok said that. And no, um, he, uh, he uploaded it on the retro mega thread. <laughs> mm. yeah, yeah, so that's official, you can say. But that can that confirms custom names. Um, well, they confirmed it in the stream, but they said it wasn't working fully. Yeah, no, it's it not working denied. now. They still. All right. It's not that. It's just that they haven't set it up yet. It's not even that. It was. It's. It's getting denied because they haven't set it up yet. That and saving. They probably the retro team is probably done saving by now, but who knows? I mean, the entire thread is mostly people begging for keys or asking when it's uh when it's yeah. gonna come out. Maybe and, a little uh, question. People spamming posts as well to get keys because I think that's worked. I mean, I don't uh, know. I, think, <laughs> I mean, personally, I think the people getting keys are obvious. Like Breaker, obviously, Reox probably. I think every CT actually, but um, apart from that, definitely Breaker's getting one. And I, there's not many other people I see that actually deserve them, in my opinion. I mean, of course like, we I mean, deserve it. <laughs> like, it's not like I remember every, yeah, it's not like I remember everyone off by heart, and I'm not saying, like, they're the only people, but I think they definitely deserve them. I think Bill Bauer, people like that, but I can't list everyone, to be honest. 
pretty much majority of the people around that 600 post count and up do. Um, like, I can't list everyone. I'm not that sort of person. Uh, people around that, I just don't see it too often, to be honest. Yeah. And uh, it's hard to tell. Breaker, you see patient. everywhere. People should be way yeah, more patient. Should you know. Yeah, you see you see break absolutely everywhere. Like e- everywhere. <laughs> yeah, basically answering most of the questions. Because all everyone mm. else is basically busy, do you understand? Um, yeah. Well I mean GTs aren't real explanation is and there's no way real explanation is busy, like oh man, so lucky of the amount of time he or she gets on the forums. Yeah. So there was another question on the forums and this is regarding whether or not you can play Fusion Fall on the Mac and really as long as your operating system supports Unity, um, this has to be a Windows. It has been confirmed that you can play on Mac, and there is a tutorial to play on Linux as well. Yeah, so that's um, that's a heads up. If that you is good. that is that's good news for people that have Chromebooks because Chromebooks can be hacked into just becoming a basic Linux shell, and from there you can play. Yeah, you have to. Ha- oh, it's not fully hacking, but part of it does require hacking into it if you do it a different way. But well, um, if you haven't guessed then... it already, Davis here is our lead hacker. It seems like could... I'm having connectivity issues with the forums for some no. reason. Yeah. Um. I mean, it could be stress test for retro. I think they do that a lot. Uh, remember, the Fusion Modulation headquarters is all one site, which is why you can still find some of the old Dex three three two stuff. Oh yeah. So I yeah that. Possibly, yeah. I could always imagine it being stress testing and nothing else. Yeah, they're basically trying to make the service stable, so people won't complain that we waited like like two years. Well, and you're giving it's not. I don't, it's not stable. They're still doing some of the scripting and sorting out admin tools, stuff like that. But yeah. I, right now, they're probably just turning it on, and getting people to like. In oh, the um, th- before we okay. go, before we go um, away, you said admin tools. A lot. There's been a thread on the forums. I remember. Saying they're limited on their tools, like they only have the tools that the original game has. Yeah, yeah, they they had the exact same um like GM tools. They're basically just GMs, and they can do pretty much majority of things, as shown already. Spawning uh entities, stuff like that. There should be somewhere a command list, and that's what they'll be able to do. But it's nothing different to being like an admin on the Gmod server and having yeah, but, commands. Yeah, um, not... they can't hit any more commands, which is kind of like a bottleneck uh, in a way. You know, like uh, um, they can't respond to okay. issues that weren't originally addressed. In a way, if you know well, what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean they can actually because they've blocked off the unknown completely. Yeah. But which kind of sucks because I'd love to visit it. Never did that back in the day. <laughs> Yeah, for glitches and, you know, wall hacks. Yeah. Uh, the, I do remember as well, back in the um main thread as well, people that don't already know this, during the stream, I asked them this question, they did confirm that when, like, if by any chance CN takes it down or something, or for any reason it has to go offline, they'll try to make an offline build, but apart from that, there won't be one for no particular reason. There will only be one if needed. Um, I believe it's either a dev or a community member said that um, they'll quote unquote accidentally leak the game if it ever gets shut down. You know, not yeah. officially, yeah. but still, it's gonna be out there. They said that they will, they will do they will do something if needed if needs be, which is great because yeah. I'd love that. So their work won't just go to waste, you know, all that. Years. Yeah, it's not even that, but it's not even that it won't go to waste, but it's that people will still be able to play it. Yeah, I mean that's what people basically want. They want a working fusion file. I mean, yeah, like, they like we've to... said it before, fusion file isn't another two in town. You know, it's not that easy to get it up and running. Yeah, <coughs> every person can make a server as well. That's the best part. Yeah, I mean, the worst that can happen is people starting a petition to bring the game back on and blame yeah, Cartoon that... Network. Yeah, I people that blame Cartoon Network annoy me. I blame it on Grigan for the original game shutting down because they went bank. I mean, you can't do much about but getting bankrupt. It's probably CN wasting their budget a lot, but it's still their fault. Yeah, I mean, I miss like a lot of shows that were shut down because of budget cuts. Like, um, you you remember yeah. Flapjack? Yes, Flapjack. Um, actually, you know, Flapjack was completely different. While in university, Alex Hirsch, the creator of um, what's it called, uh, Gravity Falls. 
then Pendleton Ward, creator of Adventure Time, and J.G. Quintel, the guy who did regular show, all worked together on Flapjack. Then when they left, they all split up and did their own respective shows. Mm. So, yeah. Nice information. Uh, yeah, it is, actually. You, you seem to know a lot of uh, the cartoons. Or um, I, just, I just know a lot of random facts, to be honest. Like, don't ask me why. It's just, like, social media has all this stuff littered on it. So, uh, a little update for you. Um, their site is up, but the forums are still down. And now, instead of saying login um, or register, it just shows you a little unhappy face with a notepad on it. <laughs> it's probably yeah, it's just maintenance. And look at serv- look at um server status. It should say something or something. There's One servers. of them will say something. It says the servers yep. are off right now. Oh, does it? <laughs> okay, that's just get status. Then it, normally it should tell you about the site. It says that the service servers are offline maintenance information. Go to um do you know how to hack do you know how to like hack into web pages and play around with them? Like properly. Would you really want to do that? It says that during technical game sessions the servers will be offline. Basically they're saying that we're um no. we're updating the go game to... so we have to shut down the forums. What? Yeah, go to fusionforretro.com dot com and uh inspect elements, see what you can find. Uh we've already done that before. I mean, not on stream, obviously, but, you know. Yeah, I know, I know, but look at all the stuff with Insect Element. Just make sure there's nothing we've missed out. I mean, we didn't really show anything. Um, If you haven't known already, I don't know if this is a spoiler yeah. for you, but the background of Fusion File Retro website is our logo for our channel. That I yeah, I know, I know. I was there when we were talking about that. I don't know. So, yeah. Uh, well, like I said, with this channel, we have a few ideas. Just stay tuned to what we're uh, like uploading. Subscribe for about a week. Um, everything subscribe about for a about... week and then you can leave us. <laughs> <laughs> now, subscribe for a week and then stay subscribed. But it's like if you don't like the channel, just like to see what our content is. Subscribe for precisely a week. Then after that, um, just look at what we've upload. Like watch we upload what we upload, and you'll see what we're planning to do. We have different ideas for each day. There's only one that right now we can't do because uh, uh, mission isn't out yet. Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 And yeah, the game is not yet. So I mean, yeah. we're gonna be doing vlogs, possibly death, um, death vlog vlogs, or just foreign vlogs. Yeah. As long as the site well, is this up. Is ba- this is basically a vlog. Okay. But, um, this is basically an example of what we can do when all of our teammates don't leave us, and it's just me and you, you know, mm-hmm. Ghost Robo, yeah. Peter Five, and Davis. One more thing. <clears throat> um, my name is Ghost Robo, Three to Five. obviously, you already know that. I designed the logos, um, some of the artwork <laughs> that I haven't given to the team yeah. yet, I'm keeping uh, it to myself for the reference, for now. profile pictures, most of them I've done right now, some of them are like, they're just base images, I'm going to be working on better ones as well. Yeah. And... Um, if you look at the first video on the second channel, that was my little picture down there. Cause I did and that like it took me five, it took me like five seconds in paint because uh, Ben wanted something. And then also, if you um, were on our channel early on, the the original artwork or the original logos were made by our lovely Davis. It wasn't made by me because no, that wasn't me. That was made by Ben. Those were made by Ben on a oh. random website. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well. So, um... Don't tarnish my reputation. Um, I'm pretty sure um, we still have a fishy logo on our second channel, which you should definitely check yes. out. Um, yeah, it's going to be really on nice. the it's bottom nice. right corner of this video. But I'm going to be finishing the artwork. It's probably going to be done by tomorrow after this, uh, after this video uploads. Yeah. Currently, we only have one logo, and then I'm going to also design the, uh, the thumbnail for this video. All right, guys. See you later. Girls of Roll 325 signing out along with Davis. Have a nice weekend. Bye-bye. Bye.